Malawa. First time I came up here was five years ago. Have a look. It's beautiful. I've been coming back every year. The product that keeps bringing me back is lupins. And now there is this wholemeal lupin flour that's gluten-free that I'm actually in love with. I'm gonna make you a recipe that you're gonna enjoy. First thing we've got to do is get our pans hot. Nearly all of us have had Peking duck pancakes. Now I'm gonna make that using the wholemeal lupin flour with pork belly, my favourite meat. I cooked it yesterday, I've got a little slab left over. It is perfect to be used up. First thing we need to do is crack our eggs. Just chuck them in there. Having good eggs is very important to this recipe. It's gonna add a real nice richness to the flavour. All right, let's just break them up. These are savoury pancakes, don't forget that. They're not sweet. Some cream. We're gonna add our flour in. I want it to be quite runny. It's not a thickish pancake, it's a real runny batter. Good pinch of salt, little bit of pepper. You can see here that it's thick. Just add the water a little bit at a time. We want it to be runny. This flour has had all the work done for you. All you've got to do is add these ingredients and you don't have to worry about anything else. Look at that, that's how I want it. I like that. A Little bit of oil. So now, two scoops. One, two. And you can see, because it's very, very runny, they're going to be very thin. They're not pancakes that are going to fluff up. We're not after that. We're after nice, thin ones so we can wrap the pork belly and all the extra ingredients in. While they're cooking in this one here, we're going to put a little bit of oil. So we've got our pork belly here. Have a look at that. Because it's already been cooked, what I'm trying to do now, not only just heat them up, I'm actually trying to give them a crust on the outside. For me, that's really important. You want a soft pancake and a crunchy pork, and you can have the fresh spring onions, the coriander, the chilli. And as you're eating it, it's just going to be a massive explosion in your mouth. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt over that. So now, can you see here the bubbles? When they're like that, it's time to flip them over. Any more than that, and you're going to overcook them. We're not after overcooked pancakes. We're after nice, soft pancakes. Now, this one here that I just turned over, it's already done. Take it off. I'm going to put the rest of my pork in to finish off. You don't need to use pork. You can use chicken, you can use beef, you can use duck. Anything you've got left over, this recipe is perfect for. Have a look at the colour of that pancake. See the yellowness? That's the nutritional value coming out of the lupins, which is going to be so good for you when you eat it. Behind me, I've got a bunch of farmers that are bigger, stronger than me, and hungry. Let's hope I've done a good job and I feed them well, because they've done a good job giving me great lupins. That was quick. Mate, the smell of this great food from over there is magic. Well, this is going to be really easy to do because you've done the hard work in the flour. Grab a pancake, some pork, and whatever you like. I've got sesame seed, I've got hoisin. Whatever you want, little spring onions. Yeah. Jump in, guys. The That's ultimate great. smorgasbord.